and we've just published the paper working on microforestry, which is growing mushrooms with living trees and its potential to, to feed people and mitigate climate change. Well, one of the things that I'm most excited about this is it gives us a way to mitigate the, the food and forestry conflict. We've got very ambitious tree planting targets in Scotland and across the UK more generally. Those trees have got to go somewhere and that can be at the expense of agricultural land. This gives us an avenue to get trees and an edible crop into the same space. And all our other major food groups, they actually uh, release carbon in their production. And even our most efficient system, which is producing grains and pulses, still emit carbon. Whereas looking at this system, uh, because it grows with living trees, it actually sequesters and pulls carbon out of the atmosphere as it produces this uh, edible crop. Well, we know that we can do this. We know that the, the techniques are there to enable us to do so, but we need to scale them up. So we really need significant investment, both into the underlying research, but also the commercialization, so that we can drive this forward as a, a commercially viable proposition. So in the paper, we took quite a theoretical approach to look at what would be the potential with current forestry activities, if we could use those to, to produce edible mushrooms. Uh, and looking at it from that point of view globally, um, if the forestry activities for the last 10 years, if we had inoculated all of that with edible mushrooms, we produce enough uh, food annually to feed 18.9 million people. We have the, the fungus growing away in the labs. We've got the, the, the trees ready to work with. So it really is very much watch this space.